first watermelon of the season. Let's see how it looks. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on Working Shopper. Before I try the watermelon, I want to try this concoction. I had some apples that were going bad, so I juiced them. Then I mixed it with coconut, canned coconut water, and I put some lemon in here. I've never had that combination before, so let me just see how it tastes. Okay, so that wasn't the best combination, but it's all fruit. And I think if I put more lemon juice in here, it'll taste good. Anyway, let's try this uh, coconut, uh, watermelon. Mm. Not as sweet as it could be, but it's still good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and crunchy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just go ahead and swallow the seeds. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Look at all, can you see all those seeds? Wow. It's not the peak watermelon season, but this, I think the next, <clears throat> I think the next batch of watermelons is probably going to be really good. Look at all those seeds. I also bought some golden berries and some apricots. The golden berries, I think, where did I get these? These are from Sprouts. Yeah, these are from Sprouts. Um, oh, they smell delicious. The only other fruit that I know comes in a sheath like this is a tomatillo but this is nothing like a tomatillo let's pull it back and you feel this beautiful berry it's sweet and tangy and juicy. Mm. Okay. Let's 
see if these apricots are sweet. Just washed it. Ooh, it's juicy too. Nice. Mmm. So my trip to Phoenix was pretty uneventful. I was visiting relatives. It was hot. Hot. Some mango. Mm. The mangoes are good. I'm not sure what type of mangoes these are. I've seen so many different descriptions for them. I've seen Haitian mango, um, a Taufo mango, yellow mango, honey mango. I don't know which name it is but it's 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 not the green mango it's not the the green oval mangoes it's the the flat yellow mango and i like these because they don't have the, the hairiness that the green mangoes sometimes have i work for twelve dollars an hour It wasn't my ideal position. So after about six months, I gave my two weeks notice. And then they let me go a week early. <laughs> I didn't mind at all. <laughs> It was the best apartment I had ever lived in. It had a skylight and I had my own entrance. The staircase, it went up and then it split off. So anyone coming this direction was definitely coming to my door because I hate the type of apartment buildings where you have people walking by your door all the time. And I, I don't like it when your door is too close to, to the next person's door. I had been considering the apartment complex for a while. I knew it was expensive. But after I got out of that $12 an hour job and got a much higher paying job, I decided it's finally time for me to have a nice apartment. So when I moved in, there was a special on the apartment. It was like $900 um, a month. I signed a lease and I got my skylight apartment. I mean, it was this, just that one skylight was enough to just light up the entire living room. Um, and it had high ceiling. I had two bedrooms, two bathrooms, small kitchen, but I didn't really care because I was working most of the day. 
and then I had um, the, the entrance way led straight into the dining room. Um, there was a fireplace too, but it never got cold enough for me to use the fireplace. Um, the year that it got cold enough, I had already left. So it was nice to have, it, it looked pretty in the living room, but I never got a chance to use it. Um, oh yeah, and I had my own washer and dryer inside the apartment. Woo! First time for me. Now, before I lived here, I never, ever, ever, ever believed in ghosts. After living in that apartment for one month, I will wake up feeling pressure, feeling like something was around me. And it's like I wanted to just cry. An old friend of mine had told me that when you move into a new place, you're supposed to get all the spirits out. Well, being the person who doesn't believe in ghosts and all that, I was like, I, I had never done that before. So this time I was like, maybe she's right. <laughs> So I went and, to, and I bought some sage. You can get like a bundle of sage from like an incense store or a, a health store. Um, some of the grocery stores may even sell them now. Um, but I got my bundle of sage and I went around the house. Um, I, I went around the apartment and I burned it and I just said some some, some stuff like leave this apartment <laughs> you know? the smoke is supposed to assist their way up to the ether so I went around every room and I cleansed the room and I just waited to see if anything happened I don't know if anything happened, but I was able to sleep that night. The next night, I noticed in the dining room, there's a moth on the wall. So I opened the, the door because the entranceway leads to the dining room. So I open the door, you know, I'm like, okay, the moth probably wants to fly back out. Nope, it didn't fly out. I'm like, okay, maybe it just needs a little help. <laughs> so I started trying to fan it away. Every time I'd fan it, it, like, it would like flutter in my face, you know, and then it flew up to the light and it went inside the light and it wouldn't come out. I'm like, this moth is not going to leave the apartment. So I said, okay, fine, stay there. Next day, the moth is back in the dining room on the wall. What the heck? I open the door again. See if it'll go out. Won't go out. I try to help it. It's fluttering in my face. Fluttering in my face. Fluttering in my face. It won't leave the apartment. So it flies into the living room you know, with the high ceiling. And it, it goes on top of the ceiling where I can't reach it. And it stays there. I'm like, fine. Okay, stay there. The next day, I look up, and it's on the ceiling. And I just stand there, and I look at it. I'm like, 
and it clicks in my mind. The ghost that I was feeling, maybe it went inside of this moth. <laughs> Is that possible? I have a possessed moth in my house, in my apartment. Is that possible? But anyway, for about a week, it was the same thing. It would be up on the, the wall where I could not reach it. And it just stayed there. And then after about a week, it started hanging out under the skylight. It was still high, I couldn't reach it, but it was under the, the sky, where the skylight was. The next day it was higher on the wall under the skylight. The next day it was higher on the wall under the skylight. It was like it was going towards the light. I kid you not. I kid you not. After Three days of it doing that, I never saw it again. Then after that happened to me, I started watching movies like about ghosts and spirits. I started watching them differently. And when people would tell me like these supernatural things, I started listening. There's definitely something bizarre or unique or strange that happens in certain environments. Yeah. I thought I was cuckoo. <laughs> mm. All of the fruit was good except my concoction here. But I'm thinking lemon, more lemon will help it. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. <laughs> I'll have it later. <laughs> Oh, I also got this from Trader Joe's. I uh, I used to eat these. I used to have these on my desk. And by the end of the day, they'd be all gone. They are absolutely delicious. They're not as salty as Reese's peanut butter cups. Um and they're 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 the mini cups but they're absolutely good. I've already eaten some now. I've already eaten some now. Um, they're addictive, but I like to keep them in the refrigerator because it makes the chocolate snap when you bite into it. But anyway, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to my supernatural story i hope you had something delicious to eat and your day is going great i will catch you in the next video bye